How in the world did I get here on a bowling lane doing sit-ups next to a girl doing push-ups? I'm back in Stacyville, Iowa in Mitchell County. Population, nah, 400 some. And I'm stopping at Gerb's Bar and Grill. Woo! I like this place a lot. Oh look, there's Pam renting our shop, the bartender. And Jerry! Right. It's Gerb's Bar and Grill in Stacyville. I've been here since 2006. We got a four lane bowling alley, restaurant, bar. Right. Let's, <laughs> you shut up. <laughs> let's, let's try to talk like you don't have anything in your butt. All right, let's take two. <laughs> All right. I'm Jerry Gerbig. I own Gerb's Bar and Grill in Stacyville. That was Jerry Pryor. You get to see the real personality, a genuine man who cares about his community and cares about his patrons. I like him already, honest. So get this, Jerry just offered and said that I could make a pizza. Guess what Chris is gonna do? He's gonna make a pizza. Pizza. All right. Okay, one scoop of sauce. I feel like I'm at Chipotle oh, making a burrito. Oh, lefty. All right. Yeah, that's why we'll I never got it. All the way what I failed to tell Jerry is, I go to Trader Joe's and get fresh product all the time to make myself a homemade pizza. His products win. I'll tell you what, all this cheese is probably gonna plug me up for a week. That didn't work out very well. Does it matter which one? Doesn't matter. Rowan! That's what she said. What do you say about the root beer? So I had to give it the root beer a try. Delicious. While I was waiting for my pizza to get done, it was time to heckle the patrons. Meet Bert. I was picking on him before we got to Gerbs out in the car. <laughs> what are you laughing about in there? Try it again. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> just, don't, just, don't, just don't. <laughs> As you can see, we were having a couple of good laughs. Bert was having fun as he was wiping his mouth and burping loudly. We like Bert. The pizza's here, and we are ready to eat. Take a look at this. Well, I wolf that down in normal fashion. Next up, here we go, Jerry. Have you ever made a Wisconsin Old Fashioned? He said, no, let's give it a try. All right, Jerry, we're making an Old Fashioned. All right, you tell me how to do it. Yeah, because, I mean, this, this isn't something that's big in Iowa, right? This is no, it's from, not. Yeah. So I'll let you in on a little bit of a secret. Jerry didn't have the proper ingredients for Wisconsin Old Fashioned. And I don't blame him. He doesn't make them at his bar. Typically you need an orange, you need some cherries, a sugar cube, and bitters. But we made it work, you know why? Because we have whiskey, ice cubes, we have sugar. And I'll tell you what, we were talking way too much, but we shook it up, we added the sour per request of Jerry, and we have ourselves an Iowa Old Fashioned. I hope Jerry likes it. All right, let's give her a taste. You passed. Yes! Yeah. So I won on the Old Fashioned. Let's see if I can try my winnings in bowling. And not bowling for a couple of years did not help me out at all. It got so ugly for me that Addie, my opponent, yeah, she was getting more pins down than I was. You know what you are still though? A zero. 
<laughs> so we're having a little bit of a dilemma here. We've thrown four balls and they've gotten stuck. I think the bowling gods are wanting us to stop. How does it feel to lose to me? Yeah. That's all you're gonna say? I beat you twice. So? And that's how we got here. I may have beat Natty, but her and I both lost to her mom, Christina. And I gave Addie a hard time, but she knows I loved our time. She even hooked me up with a prize. Or a present? I'm Chris Nelson telling you to never beat a nine-year-old girl at bowling. Always look up and God bless.